Kia ora, tēnā koutou, hello and welcome to what isn't actually Minecraft but what is a nifty little program called MC Edit. Uh, I'm using this program at the moment to uh, to make this awesome little Minecraft map that I was, that I showed in my last video. So yeah, uh, it's, it'll, <laughs> it's kind of tricky to explain what it does if you've never used it before. So let's just go ahead and show you using it. And you'll have to excuse the uh, choppy controlling that I'm using at the moment. It's uh, It actually normally runs quite smoothly on my computer, but at the moment, obviously because I'm recording, it makes everything go crazy. Okay, well anyway, this is the, uh, this is the world, as I said in the last video. You know, that, that was the town there, and we built it, like, way, way up. <laughs> Here, there's the actual world just down there. Uh, here's how far along I've come since then. Uh, I've actually made... There are two chunks that I, like, copied and pasted from this world using MC Edit. Uh, this particular this green spot here, and then this coastline area that I'm working on here. This is... Uh, I didn't actually paste in this bit, I pasted in the sand, a lot of the sand, but I had to um, put the water in. And anyway, let's just, I just wanted to kind of involve you with the uh, making the map for a change, rather than just sort of keeping it a little, a little secret, we can, uh, you know, we can make it. So, let's just go ahead and do it. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm just sort of working and talking now. Uh, what we're going to be doing now is expanding. Actually, no, not expanding. Copying this mountain here. We'll go copy, and then we can go paste. And it's and you can see it's um, in my. It's following my mouse around, which is kind of nice. So yeah, we're actually just going to put it, we're going to, no, that's not right, we're going to, we're going to mirror it using a G. Uh, we'll just put it here. I've, I've never actually mirrored something, so yeah, we'll just plonk it down. Okay, do it. Did it work? I don't know. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. That doesn't look too bad, does it? That looks okay. And then once we've done that, we can go import. And it will put it there permanently. There we go. It took a couple of seconds to load. Alright, so now we've got a uh, proper looking mountain. Rather than a choppy cut off kind of mountain which is kind of what I was hoping for and I think just the second thing that I want to do in this video is paste this uh, not copy paste some of this beach uh, we'll, we'll just go ahead and make a uh, selection here we can one of the great things I discovered today actually is that we can actually expand the selection if you grab one of the sides uh, you can make it bigger and smaller by dragging the side which is kind of nice so anyway, I just need to get around here and pretty much drag this side and go like this, and then we can copy that. Copy. Oh, we don't need this anymore, so we can delete that. And then we go paste. Now, I think probably... Yeah, I might have to mirror this. Maybe we might not mirror it. Let's see if we can get away with just rotating it. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Right, let's see. This will be a little tricky. Uh, the, uh, you don't use space and shift to fly around in this uh, MC edit. You use Q and Z to go up and down. So it's, a, it's a little tricky to get used to. Alright, let's see. 
Uh, just got to get them like lined up. That looks so. That's actually them lined up, but we want the sand to be like there. So we do that. Then we go import. And how about that? Ah. <sighs> So this is basically just to uh, round off the sort of beach area here. There's going to be a uh, a little building that we're going to build there, and probably the next episode of whatever this is going to be called. I'm probably just going to name this "Let's Make a Custom Map" or something. That'll probably be a good name. And this this thing will be officially episode two. <laughs> okay, so we need. I mean, we just need a bit of sand. So let's just, I don't know, just copy, copy all that sand there. Let's see. Is it? Okay, yeah, so that's like the right length. Let's, we just need to get underneath. Assuming I don't have like, you can see the FPS up there. It's, you know, hovering around like, six or so <laughs> that's pretty bad uh, so copy paste and we'll just like put it like right next to it just to sort of make it connect with the land i can't see from back here see once you know how to use the program it's quite easy to do all this stuff That looks about right. Let's see. Yeah, that looks good. All right. So we're just going to import. Boom. All right. Now I think just one more thing I want to do in this episode, if it actually is going to be an actual series, that'd be kind of cool. Um, let's see. Probably just want to grab some more water or make some more water. And I find it's actually easier to work with a selection rather than making stuff in thin air. You can make stuff in thin air, but it's a lot harder. And I kind of grab all the stone that's there. So let's see. I just basically want to like copy all the water. So I need the stone as a as a base. So we don't need. The stone is a base. But it does help if you don't want your players to fall out of the world. Let's see. So yeah, that looks about right, I think. We just want to grab the one layer of stone. Is it even on the one layer of stone? Is it even all the way to the end? It doesn't look like it's to the end, actually. Let's, let's get right in, have a look. Hmm. That's better. Alright, so we can copy that, pretty much paste it. Copy. Okay, now we can get rid of all, these, all of these. Paste, and we just like... I'm not sure if there's any way to just sort of say, move 12 paces that way, kind of thing. Oh man. It doesn't actually look like I've got... It hasn't picked it up cleanly. Hmm. That's... That's about as good as it's going to get for now. I wonder if we can... So the nudge down there, I haven't actually tried this, but let's go ahead and try nudge. Click and hold. Oh, okay, that just nudges the selection. It doesn't actually move this. Oh. Oh.
Ah. Now what is that doing? Oh, okay, that's just like resizing it. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, so that's what we want to do. So how do we resize from this side? Like that. Okay, so we can just... No. We don't want to import that. We go copy. Paste. I'm I'm just I'm working out how to use the program as I'm going along, okay guys. I'm sorry if it's like boring, but hey, you clicked the video, right? Okay. That actually worked much better than before. Let's see. Import. Alright, so we, yeah, I think probably after this would probably be a good place to stop. Alright, so now what we can do is we can actually increase this face by 2. And this is kind of cool. We can go fill and replace, and then we can say turn all the air in the selection into water. It'll actually leave the stone as is, which is kind of cool. So we just go replace, and that should do it. Look at that. I'm not going to head to going to bother and go in game to see whether or not it's actually worked. Uh, we'll just leave this as is for now. Okay, here we got two like water sort of just like suspended, three water suspended over nothing in particular. All right, so thank you very much. And my FPS just suddenly went up. It's this is great. So this is what MC Edit is normally like in terms of moving around. Thank you for watching episode two of Let's Make a Custom Map. You still don't know what the custom map is. <laughs> so we'll just go ahead and save. And see you next time.